Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up conditional highlighting in your reports. You know, all those fancy colors on there. First thing I'm going to do is just create a report. It doesn't matter what report you pick, just create your own. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to remove all the fields and just start with a basic report. This is an opportunity report, so I'll put the name and let's say the dollar amount on here. All right, so we've got two fields on here, but what you really need to do is add a grouping. All right, you can't turn on conditional highlighting without some kind of grouping. So here now I'm grouping by stage. And if you notice, now the conditional uh, formatting button appears on the bottom. If I remove the grouping, then that little button goes away. But a grouping isn't the only thing you need. Here I'm adding a group to the report, but without an amount field, there's no, nothing to highlight. So you need some kind of summary field and you need a grouping for this to happen. And once you have both, the little button on the bottom is gonna appear. And when you click it, now you can create your formatting rules. So the field that you want, you pick it from the top, and then you just put in your ranges. So anything less than 15,000 is red, between 15 and let's say 70,000 is yellow, and anything above that, green. You can pick your colors and hit save. So when you do that, you apply the rule and there you go. You got your colors on your report. You could run the report. You could be done right now. Uh, you can hide the details. So each individual row is gone, but the summary highlights are still there. So that's a nice way to look at these if you're interested in that. But you could also add other columns as well. You could do conditional highlighting on other fields. Now, it, the field type is important. So here the type field, for example, that's not going to work. But a numerical field like the age field, that does. So now I can come in and again, I could choose my ranges. I could remove ranges, add ranges, pick my numbers and colors. Uh, but that's how it works. Make sure you have a grouping and a field that can be summarized. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.